everyone. I am Rachna Patha from Valchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. Welcome to the installation of Joomla using XAMPP Server Part 2. In previous video, we have studied about Joomla installation and now in this session, we are going to look remaining further steps. But before that, let us first have a recall of previous video. We have seen stepwise procedure where we downloaded our package Joomla from Google and then extracted it to a folder. Then we had started a server Apache and MySQL followed by further verification. For verification step, we opened our web browser and typed localhost slash Joomla and we see Joomla on our screen. It means our Joomla is properly installed. We need to create our database where we provide default database credentials. Later on, we did necessary configuration and now let us look at the remaining steps. So, in previous video, we have already seen about Joomla introduction and steps how to install it. If you have not yet watched part one of this video, then please watch part one now let us resume from the same. So at the end of the session, student will be able to explain installation process for Joomla. Student will be able to explain features of Joomla and where and how it has been used. So after waiting for installation, we are now done with the process, but we still need to make some changes in system to complete the process. So this was our last slide where we had stopped our video first. You can see message popping out here that is wait, wait till installing. So this is where we left our session. Let us resume from the same. Now, so this is our last message displayed, displayed on your screen. That is congratulations Joomla is now installed. It means we have successfully installed our Joomla. So this was our last message. I mean to say, after this slide, when the installation process is done, you will get somewhat like this your screen. Now, now open your php.n file. And to open this, we open our XAMPP folder, press Ctrl plus F. It means we are going to find and replace something. Now what we have to find and what is to be replaced. So open php.in. Now this php.in file is nested into your XAMPP folder. So the step is open your XAMPP folder. Suppose if it's on C, C drive or on your local disk C drive, click on Windows, your local disk C drive, XAMPP folder in it. And after opening your XAMPP folder that is nested, you have to click php.in. After opening php.in, you will get a notepad or I can say you can get a text file, right? After that, you press Ctrl plus F. So Ctrl plus F is to search. So you can see, let me show you. See, this is how you see your screen now. Okay, now this is my notepad. I will search for Ctrl plus F and I will search for maximum execution. So you can see, Control plus F, you will get a find button, then search for maximum execution. Now, by default, you have maximum execution time as 30 ms, that is milliseconds. Now, we have to convert this maximum exec execution time to 3000, right? Because our Joomla needs a huge amount of time rather than the default value. So we will just make this necessary changes. So for that, search for max underscore execution. You can see over here, the value is 30. Just change it to 3000, make it as 3000. So this is how you have to do this. Just make it maximum execution underscore execution underscore time is equals to 3000. And this is how you have to do in entire notepad file. So just 
keep on searching find it make it 3000 and search for the rest so this is how you have to do for the entire notepad i think hardly you will find three to four maximum execution times right so after this one more thing that is your last step i can say one step to go in the same file you have to search for your memory so check for your memory after execution time one more thing remains is your memory so you can see over here control plus f the process is going to remain same just type control plus f find for your memory find what you have to enter memory so you will get maximum amount of memory a script may consume so this is changed to 128 mb so just change to 128 mb now save the necessary changes whatever you have done to your file and close the file so just save the changes i will click on file save that's it now you can close this file open your browser now you have to open your browser and type localhost slash joomla again so this may vary accordingly to your naming convention and you can see packages of joomla on your screen you just have to click on it so what you have to do see here i have done this open your browser just type localhost slash joomla now this may vary according to users convention suppose if i have given joomla demo so this package name may vary it depends upon user so localhost slash joomla after clicking on enter i can see this is how my screen looks like right after this step you can see your joomla packages are nested over here you can see your parent directory and package joomla 3.9.1 stable you just have to click on your package that's it now here you get your welcome message so here you are done and you can see welcome message is displayed on your screen to our site joomla test site name may vary i have used joomla test now you can see during my creation site creation site title name i used joomla test so i can see joomla test is displayed here you can give anything joomla demo or any of your website name suppose if you are making for college for your institute you can give your college name institute name or hospital name whatever for whatever purpose you are using your site so this joomla test is my site name now what you have to do in next step now if you want to open your admin panel you just have to concatenate administrator at the end of your link as depicted by arrow just type administrator at the end of your url address and just you get administration authority so what you have to do just click on your you just have to click here right and concatenate your administrator this will automatically redirect your page to admin panel so open with concatenating administrator at the end of the link as depicted by arrow this is one way and another way is you can just go on google click on joomla admin panel you will get a link over there you can get many options so click on official site of joomla and you can log in with your admin panel and this is the most easiest way when you're creating your Joomla. Already we are on the page, right? So now you can see how to log in with admin by entering username and password, which we have provided during creation. So this is how you will get your admin panel. Now you have to just log in with admin by entering your username and password. So this is completely related to part one of this video. I have given my ID, password, credentials, whatever the things I have used during the video, part one of this video creation, right? So use same username and password and just you have to click on login, right? My username was Rachna and password. Make sure your password is secure. So now, this is how our control panel looks like control panel will help you to customize and maintain 
so welcome to the control panel you can see i have shown a display message over here customize in main world here you can add so many things you can add article see we can see over here new article articles you can even categorize your sites right you can give many categories sub categories you can add media that is whatever video you like to upload you can up upload with the help of this media right presentations if you are using for educational purpose or any commercial purpose you can upload your presentations audios anything you like so this is how our control panel looks like and this is how we customize our site now here you can customize your website by adding categorizing it and you can add many themes in it right you can of course you can add plugins too now real world examples of your joomla okay real world examples joomla is basically used in corporate websites or portals right major, uh, major joomla usage in is in online magazines newspapers publication e-commerce and online reservations of course they use joomla government applications some of the government applications are completely based on your joomla small business websites non-profit and organization websites your commercial websites community based portal school and religious websites personal or family home pages and many more things now features of joomla see you can see many fe features user management right search engine language manager now suppose if you need your website in one language and the administrator panel in another language then multiple languages are also supported by joomla so it is one of the feature of your joomla you have content management how you can manage organize your content into necessary format right so you have media manager you can see you have media manager this is a tool for easily managing media files or folders media manager is integrated into article editor tool so you can incorporate images and other files at any time you have polls right we can see over here one of the feature is polls poll is nothing but in order to seek the feedback from the user you can just conduct polls with multiple options you have banner management banner management is very easy to set up banners on your website using this one particular banner management you have syndication and news feed management now of course with joomla it's easy to syndicate your site content allowing your users to subscribe to new contents in their favorite rss reader it's equally easy to integrate rss feeds from other sources and aggregate them all into your one site now you can see language manager user management i have covered many of your features here i have a question for you how can you log in to admin panel take a pause try to recall and answer this so here is your answer you have to just concatenate slash administrator by at just the end of your url or by just searching admin site of joomla so you just go open your google open your browser in google search engine you have to just click joomla administrator and you will get a link and at the end you need somewhat like this so this is your admin panel you just have to give your credentials and you are done and you so here are the references i have used during content creation of this session so these are some of thank you